Sorry about that. My battery's died on me. <laughs> Had to go for replace them. All right, now. You can still do a lot of shaping here with your sandpaper. You still don't have the exact shape you want. Of course, you can make this round. You can do just pretty much however you want to do it. Running this at about 16, 17 RPM. I lay real close. 2400 is fast, so it goes. Get the job done. Alright, that's a real good move. You don't have to get perfect, you need to make a port. Now I'm going to jump ahead to 400 grit. Try and just move it out. Any of the rough spots. Steel wool. I'm going to kind of burnish the wood a little bit. And I don't know if you can see the grain in there, but that's really nice. Whatever kind of wood this is, it kind of stinks while you're cutting it, but still and all, that's fine. All right, now, just uh, for example, uh, let's put a little stain on it, just for the heck of it. Let's get a little piece of towel. Turn the stage blade. I'll let that turn for a minute. Let it dry. I'll do is 
things I will get into the little activator. Now, this one's really no good. If you'll look, you'll see that I didn't center on the right hole. I had several holes on this end of the wood, and I didn't center it on the right one, so I didn't turn it center. Uh, of course, this ends just fine. But this will work for demonstration purposes. And, of course, I mean, this. even though it's off-center, this is still a perfectly... Well, usable cork. I mean, there's there's no reason not to put it in your tackle box. But just dab the end like that. See? And then I'll take and just put some CA glue around this to seal this in. Same on this end. Now, <clears throat> the little sippy straw that come out of the, I still can't remember what they're called, but the little packets of, of drink, like, I don't know. Anyway, I took a razor blade and I split it down the length of it because this is just slightly bigger than an eighth of an inch. So, uh, I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing, but I'm pushing it in on itself so that it'll start into the cork. Trying to keep it going in on itself. It's kind of hard to do with this camera and everything in, in line. Excuse me. Sometimes I have to pull it back out and yeah, see it was caught there. Alright, you got a little bit coming out on this end, and what I will do is I will take and trim that. Actually, let me trim it like this to save my fingers. Alright, got a little bit sticking out on this end, and I'll do the same thing here. Or over here. There. You got a small piece left over that I could make a little tiny, tiny brim cork and uh, put that in there. So save your save your leftovers, and this is what you end up with. Uh, like I said, I mean, if I'd actually paid attention to what I was doing and centered my hole on this end with my uh, dead center or my drive center, then I wouldn't have that issue, but I've got no problem going fishing with that cork there. It's no, no problem at all. So, but uh, anyway, I mean, it looks great. Uh, didn't have to put down here. Could have put anything on here. Uh, 
all different kinds of, of whatever. I mean, I've got some that I use interior stain, but I seal it with the CA glue, so I don't think that's an issue. But uh, tell me what you think. Uh, I may do some more corks later on. Uh, a few videos just showing this and that and the other. Let me know what you think. Thanks.